Tash and JB. We recently moved to Costa Rica to build our dream in the jungle. Follow our adventure as we start developing our land, surf some of the best waves and explore the jungle in our Torti the Jimney. Click that subscribe button to follow our journey every Monday. Are you ready? Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Week four. Woo! How crazy. Is it feels like we've done so much work, but you don't actually see it. <laughs> Yeah. So this week we have a huge week happening. Yes, especially for you. <laughs> so by the end of this video, we'll be taking a tour of the land and showing you guys all the different ideas and plans and everything. But the first few days, we need to go and finish the clearing. Then we have the surveyor coming. Yes. And then on Friday, we'll take you on a tour. Yes. So it's very exciting. That's you guys plan. can finally see our vision. Yeah, yes. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> First coffee time with the view mm. and the morning breeze. Mm. It's so wonderful mm. before we become all sweaty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to say? <laughs> right back. Action. Yeah. Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, the way feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me because I'm gonna. Oh. Where? Like. I'm here. You can see? No. Oh. Oh, I think it's like a second my hairball. So I've just been attacked once again by a wasp. Yeah, Django is really, really fighting back. But I'm not giving up. I have, I'm gonna just go somewhere else and carry on. Yeah, three for the wasp, zero for JV. And they say, yo, guess you got a two o'clock appointment for a champagne shop for you. I'm busy trying to take it higher, got no time for never, only spending chair. I wish I could do this forever. Chilling with the hottest company, they all want to welcome me to their private. <laughs> Yay! Finally, after three Finally! Yeah. Woo! And it is burning! No clouds in the sky, but again, away feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me because I'm gonna be on the I feel like we need to show the reality of how bad we look at the moment. First of all, look at this face. <sighs> you literally look like you've just been in prison and someone has beaten you up. <laughs> so intense, like your eyelashes are like stuck to your swollen. Yeah, we thought the fire would be easy, but hmm. What is now, we got here at 7, we lit the fire at like 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it's been 4 hours so far and I think we still got another 2 or 3 hours. Yeah. And we forget the steak to make barbecue. <laughs> oh my goodness. Update number three, four, whatever. It's one o'clock. We normally done at 12 because we start so early. Fire is still going. But look at that pile, hey? Woo! We're getting there. JB is looking literally like a disaster has hit. <laughs> And you wanted to carry on, huh? Thorns, wasps, dodgy things and eyeballs. <laughs> Nothing is stopping me. Voila. We just have two big black blobs of ash. We have the surveyor coming this morning, which is very exciting. Um, so we're just waiting for her. She should be here any minute now. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so the surveyor has managed to find our property, which was amazing. Um, JB is just now kind of showing her the different areas. Yeah, so um, they've already all the way at the bottom of the property. You can't really see them down there. 
Um, so he's just kind of showing them a basic view of the property and then I think they're going to take out their instruments and start showing us the different little spots. So it's going to be very interesting. Well, but I must say that this little contraption thing that they have, it's pretty interesting actually. Looks like an alien. Look at that thing. Hello, RTD2. They're somewhere on the land, busy calibrating. Did you find Kimberly? No, I think they went trotting around trying to find bothers and agents. Now we've got our first pink. Two. Yeah, there. There's a pinky. In the middle. Pink and pink. So the next thing on the agenda is to go and mark off where the next, where the tiny house should go. So we have a rough idea, but um, I need to go and like measure, go around trees and all that type of stuff. So, okay, we need to go and sort that out. So yeah, there's still this section over here, this green strip of bush, um, where probably the second tiny house is going to go further back inside there. But the first one can come here, I think. We don't know yet, but we're going to see and yeah so it'll be really nice it's like kind of part of the main property so behind the main house which will be over there um yeah so this is probably gonna eventually become maybe like a family house or like if our parents come visit something like that they can stay here and they've got their own space currently digging some holes for the ground so that we can move one of these really beautiful bushes up here so when the excavator comes in we don't have any uh, we don't get rid of them because they're really cool so he's busy digging some holes for me or for us <laughs> struggling because it's actually really difficult the, the ground is so hard like it's such intense clay and there's so many root systems so to break ground it's uh, it's an almost a nightmare <laughs> you made a hole <laughs> nice well done made a hole. now i need to bring the plant and bury and it's gonna be our first bush my mate and then i've also got a tree that i want to plant my first fruit tree is going in we got her from a friend a little banana tree i'm not sure if you guys know this but if you grow your first banana tree the banana tree will have like a little child which comes in after they had um their fruits then the parent dies and the new baby banana tree which is this one will create the next fruit so technically a banana tree is actually a plant and i hope this all makes sense but yeah um, once the adult is done, you cut the adult down and then use it as fertilizer or something or put it in your compost heap and then you wait for the baby to grow. So we have our first banana tree, so it's very exciting. So we're going to go and fetch the pretty bushes to relocate them up the hill down there. Yeah, it's raining like right there, but not on us yet. <laughs> <laughs> Still tired. Still feel tired, huh? You have to be honest, we are pretty exhausted. <laughs> A month of macheting jungle and cleaning and thinking and trying to organize. It has fully properly broken us. <laughs> But it's cool. There's like this huge like bulb structure happening here. So you can actually separate them, which is a little bit easier, but like this is like solid. So yeah, JB's gonna do a few more holes along here to the big tree and then we probably do another one. And hoping by the end of the day we'll have all of these in. So the surveyor has left. Um, she actually she has to come back again because that land's pretty big, 
and she's done all the marking and there's a few sections which we're still like unsure of so she's gonna go and do it on the computer and then she'll be here in a week before we go and have lunch is plant the banana tree so I'm gonna quickly do that Debbie's busy packing we're hungry it's been a long day and I'm really excited for a shower We have a monkey! We finally got a monkey on our land. Oh there. The last manga of the season is in there. Oh! No! no. <laughs> Not the mango! Nice mango. I, My I, mango. It looks like. It looks good. Okay. It's hard, but we need to um it needs to just ripen. Okay. Yay! And today we did promise you that we're going to do a walking tour of the land and our vision and our mission and all of that type of stuff. So we're just busy doing some formalities. We've got another worker coming today just to help out with the last little section. Good morning, my love. And yeah, we actually... <laughs> what? Huh? What did you say? Good morning. Good morning. Oh, tired face, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Exhausted. It's crazy. Like, we didn't think this was going to be so exhausting, but oh, we are getting there slowly but surely. <laughs> what we have to show you is from the beginning of the land to all the different elements that we are thinking about creating. So, it is a 2.5 acre piece of land, so it's really big. We're not going to walk through the whole area because this is going to bore you. So the first section we, excuse me dog, just peeing on our road there. <laughs> the first thing we need to do is develop this, which is going to be the road and access road into our piece of land. So we'll have a road coming in here and then a road going further back into what we call the castle road. And we'll explain a bit more about that later. But as you come into the piece of land, then we have our container. So we're going to get our container placed over here with this amazing view very exciting and at the beginning part of this container is going to be for storage and then eventually you're going to incorporate it into like a office type of location very exciting imagine working at your computer and looking at that or having your cup of coffee so yeah, we've been figuring out the landscape of this section. So the container is going to be a little bit lower than the ground floor, but it's going to be over here with the balcony going out. We're going to have a roof going over where we can do some drying and maybe even park the car. Then, it come, then you come to this part of the land, which is the big flat area, which we spent a lot of time on in clearing and just easier to work on this piece of land so this eventually will become our house it's gonna probably happen on like phase four or something like that but yeah we're gonna have our house over here our family home um, we we'll probably incorporate the container into that and then a pool looking over that view after you come from the main road and the platform it takes you back to the back where the back of the house would be to our two beautiful mango trees looking forward to that being a harvest at some stage but yeah so we go further down we're going to make this whole area like a really nice sitting some fruit trees maybe a permaculture type of garden um, but we will do that later on then we have our first tiny home so our first tiny house is going to be situated in this little section over here um, so yeah, we're gonna have, when it's summer, these trees lose their leaves and you've got this beautiful mountain range behind here. So we're thinking that having a balcony looking out at that view would be amazing. Um, so yeah, that will be our first tiny house. Then eventually we'll build another tiny house down over there. There's a guy busy cutting that little section down there. So house number two tiny house number two then 
We couldn't show you this beforehand, but you can actually walk through here now. We've all been scooters. This takes you to the teak forest. So we're basically going around the main platform. Through the ant farm. So this area is currently being farmed as a teak forest. It's not, um, most of the teaks aren't really ready yet for harvesting. So we're going to start leaving this area just to carry on growing and flourishing. Eventually we would like to harvest the teak for maybe the cabin, which we'll explain to you Nana, or the house. So that is the plan for this area. So at the moment it's just going to stay the way it is. These ants are crazy, huh? Look at all of them. like rivers all over we have our teak forest over here which will probably eventually become some form of like nice event location or maybe like a yoga area or something like that but there will there'll be something really cool happening there at some stage then what we would like to do is have one or two luxury bungalows okay so bungalow number one will probably be over here somewhere we're gonna still clear this section out but at the moment it's not really necessary as we're not going to be building it so here you actually have a beautiful view of the ocean just behind those bushes <laughs> so yeah then we'll probably if we still have the energy to carry on building we might do one more bungalow further down but we're not too sure yet um, on that situation And then that's basically going around our property. All you have to do now is walk up that gigantic hill to go back to the platform. So I hope you enjoyed that tour. Look at this very tired face. Yeah. We've been stung, we've been eaten by live, by ants, like, <laughs> you know, so well done for making the first month. <laughs> <laughs> One month. <laughs> One month in. <laughs> have still so much to do. Um, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate the support. The, support. the next step now is actually to get people in and we start doing some stuff, like real stuff. Yeah, some massive work. Yeah. The road. We need to make this road happen. Yeah. I mean, it was a pretty massive job figuring out that jungle. Like, <laughs> I can't believe it's almost cleared. Yeah, yeah, getting there. We thought it would be done. Not yet. We still have a bit to do, but... The majority of what we needed to see is now done and we can now move forward so that's very exciting so now it's time to go sleep surf rest and yeah do it again next week thanks for watching thanks for watching we'll see you next week bye bye because i found my way